So we're going to look at tabletop, arms, legs and combinations and also getting into the right position in this quadruped or four point kneeling or hands and knees, however you want to call it, this position. So you might notice that my elbows like to hyperextend and that's a problem with a lot of people. So we need to be mindful of that fact and make sure that there's a soft bend in the elbows. My hands are underneath my shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. So your shoulders are slightly wider than your hips, so your hands need to be slightly wider than your knees. You're going to lift the crown of your head forwards, keeping your spine in neutral. So you've still got a little curve in your lower back. And lift your tummy button up to support your spine. So just to start in this position, we're going to do press and release, just through the shoulders. So working the scapula at the back. We're going to inhale and allow your shoulders to sink, your scapula to wrap around your ribs at the back. Exhale to press your spine up towards the ceiling, but not going into a curl, the same neutral spine. All that's happening is your scapula wrapping around your rib cage and pressing away at the back. So inhale to release, exhale to press up. All the time my shoulders stay away from my ears, so they're not coming up here, they're staying down here. So inhale, sink, exhale, press. Watch those elbows. Inhale, sink, exhale, press. Couple more, just to get those shoulders working. And then on the last one, I want you to find your midpoint. So not sunk, not press up, but halfway. So once you've done that midpoint, you want to try and hold on to that position. So we're here, just working the arms, table top arms first, you're going to take a breath in. As you exhale, take your weight into your left hand. Slide your right hand forwards and inhale to bring it back. Exhale, weight into your right hand. Slide your left arm forwards and inhale to bring it back. So exhale, slide, inhale, come back. Imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back. So we don't want that spine to move. So don't allow the shoulders to drop. And if you're feeling strong, you can start to lift that arm up. Inhale to come back. Exhaling to lift. Inhaling back. But only lift your arm as far as you can keep that neutral spine. Last one. Up and down. We're going to go into tabletop legs. So again, just check your posture. Make sure your tummy's lifted, your spine's supported, and you haven't sunk through your shoulders. Breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, take your weight into your right hand and your left knee and slide your right leg away. Inhale to come back, shift your weight into your left hand and right knee, exhale to slide that leg away. Inhale to come back. Again, you can take that leg slightly higher as you exhale, inhale, come back, but don't take it so far that you start to extend your spine, goes into your back. So keeping that spine still, Keeping your pelvis level, take that leg as high as you can keep neutral through your spine and through your pelvis. Let's just do one more on each side. Inhale back, exhale, slide away. And then we'll do the full tabletop. So it's quite a coordinated movement. Different breathing involved, so just roll with me. All right, so breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, you're gonna take your weight into your right hand and left knee and slide your right leg away. Now as you inhale, you're gonna slide your left arm forwards and lift that right leg and left hand. And then exhale to lower your hand and lower your toes and inhale to slide that leg in. Change sides, so exhale, weight into your left hand and right knee, slide that leg away. 
Inhale to slide that right arm forwards and lift the left leg. Exhale to lower and inhale to slide that leg in. Exhale, slide away. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower and inhale to come back. Exhale, slide away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come back. One more on each side. Exhale, slide away. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, come back. Exhale, slide away. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And inhale to come back. And it's always nice to do a counter stretch after this exercise. So bring your heels together, take your knees apart. Take your hands slightly farther forward. Take a breath in, tuck your pelvis under, and then sit back onto your heels. Make this an active stretch. So you're lifting your tummy button up. You can relax your head between your arms. And just take a couple of breaths there. On your next out breath, you can take your arms over to your right. Which means that as you breathe in, you get a nice stretch through your left side. And then on your next out breath, walk your hands over to the left. And get a nice stretch through that right hand side. Breathe in, exhale, come back to centre. 